Bah wow, yo yuppie, yo yuppie gay guys, power number 49 and this is not the right intro but I always wanted to feel what it feels like to introduce a power like this. And was it good? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nice. So, hi everyone, welcome to the Garden of Borg edition 8. Uh, my name is Danny, I'm senior intern and I'm here with Louis, CEO, uh, chief intern officer and we will be with you together to present the result of the 8th session for the last session of uh, 2023. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we're in a good mood because we have a lot to talk about that's very exciting for the future and uh, we're just happy to be here and we are excited to share everything that we've been building uh, with you guys today. So thank you, uh, Steve, for your overwhelming support. Um, I also really enjoy export. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get started. So we have like 6161 61 answer um, to uh, the type form. So we count only a unique answer because right now, um, when you vote multiple times, only the last um, iteration, so the last time you voted is count, uh, taken into consideration. Uh, Snapshot was at 29th, uh, 29, 29th of November. That's the error of the slide for this presentation. Just the grammar mistakes. Uh, November at 11.46 CET. We have 4,088 eligible people for uh, for the reward and um, <laughs> yeah, 222 uh, million voicing power represented. Um, about the limitation, the 2,073 people uh, who weren't eligible is either because, um, no, no, it's actually the only reason is that they didn't reach the threshold of uh, 500 um, voicing power. So even now, if you are standard premium, you can uh, vote as long as you have um, the 500 voicing power. But you have a multiplier that is like 0.5. So it's like you have to buy two times more Borg if you are standard as if you were premium. Yeah. So we have this only one way. Yeah. <laughs> with everything uh, later on. All right. Here we've got a um, little recap of the uneligible, and I've I've done that last time already, so it's a very similar slide. Um, we are going to be sending out reminders for people just to explain this is why you weren't eligible. So if you receive one of those, it means that unfortunately you didn't have the voicing power that was sufficient. But I think that the people that are watching this video will most definitely not receive those. So if your friends receive one of those, it's because they need to get <clears throat> either a little bit more Borg or if they're very, very close, they can vote also three times in a row, then they get the 10% boost and they'll be up on that threshold. But the threshold will be changing and next session it will be 550 voicing power. So do pay attention to that. We'll reiterate it in the email, but it is important to know. The sustainability score. This is the score that we will be using to figure out how much board we will be um, spending in the next sessions. Uh, for example, this month it's roughly three. We're going to have the correct one tomorrow, but it's between 2.9 and 3.1. Uh, so roughly three is the answer here. And we will be using this to figure out how much dollar money we'll be injecting into Borg tokens to use for the next session. So that's why it's important to keep an eye out and know what this is for. Now we have the POTS current status. This is a screenshot that I uh, show also most of the time. It's a big uh, Google Sheet that I have to maintain. Um, there was one little correction for those of you who pay a lot of attention. Uh, on the USDC value, uh, there was a 9,000 9, discrepancy that has been corrected. So you'll notice that the screenshot from last time isn't exactly the same here. Um, but you'll also notice that I have changed the order of the columns and the Q4 buy will be conducted right after the session nine, which means in Q1 2024, we will be buying 125,000 USDC worth of Borg tokens. And we know that this um, gets a lot of people riling because it also impacts the price. At least sometimes it does, especially when it's used at the right time. Results for the eighth session. You'll notice that there is our trademark typo here. Um, this is the result for the eighth session. The rewards were at 41%, safety net 13.3%, burn 22.7%, and the Borg Vault 22.9%. So it's super cool to see that the Borg Vault was more popular than the burn, 
which was what many people were telling me was going to be the only thing that was ever going to be selected. Actually, no, people prefer the rewards and now also the Borg Vault, which is kind of a reward. So I, in one way, it's understandable. But that means that there is, um, I, I we will see, yeah, here we go. 105,000 tokens that will be burnt this session. And we'll see that that's not the cap. So it's interesting. How did we burn 150,000 this time as well? Borg Vault gets 106,000, Safety Net 62,000, and Rewards 190,000. Those will be dropped to you, I believe, tomorrow? Yeah, I think tomorrow would be the right time. We, won't, we might would have dropped it before, but, well, it's better if you announce it first and then drop it. Uh, I hope my mic quality is okay. Um, I corrected it. it. Changed, thanks, Dan, yeah. for yeah. Thanks, Dan, for noticing it. It was yeah. It was uh, go the sound was coming through the the camera. I don't know why, but uh, yeah. <laughs> now it's better for sure. <laughs> nice. Um, so in terms of safety net, we're just under a million Borg into the safety net. I remind that this is a premium safety net, which means that it's a feature that comes with your premium status. If there is a big problem, which I hope doesn't happen too soon because a million Borg tokens isn't that much. Um, I hope it doesn't happen too soon. But if, it, if there is a problem, then we will uh, probably conduct a very swift premium Guardian-like session. Uh, where we will decide what we will do with these tokens. So it's always nice to have them in the backlog just in case, just go growing there and making us safer and safer every day. What we wanted to burn was 105,000 tokens and what we burnt is 150. This is because we had the infamous legendary um, to be burnt pool that was being fed by the cap that we put there for when the token was low. Now that the token is a little bit higher, we are spending more than we're voting into the burn and we're making it consistent and predictable, which makes it even stronger. And I love to see it. We still have 144,000 tokens to be burned. So we still have a little bit of leeway. Uh, that's maybe three sessions. So it's pretty good. And uh, we're hoping to see it grow in the future. That's the reward. So you'll have the airdrop, but let's figure out how you can calculate it. Here we go. And then we'll go back onto the um, initiatives that will be launched. So this is the slide. It's now easier. I like it that way. We removed the hero score from it as long as we don't know exactly what we're going to be doing with it. Uh, so you can see the premium boost here. Standard users are eligible. So they get a 0 0.5 boost, which means that if you want to have the 550 um, voicing power, you will need 1,100 Borg. However, if you're Explorer, you only need 550, which means that if you're looking for that reward, then uh, it's roughly the same thing being Explorer or Standard uh, in terms of number of Borg tokens. The only difference is where you put them. And then if you vote th three sessions in a row, you get that 1.1 boost. So for example, if you're Community Premium and you have 500 Borg tokens, you will have your 500 Borg tokens, which are the Borg held as snapshot times 1.1, which is your community premium boost. So that's 550 times 1.1 again, which is uh, the loyalty boost if you voted three sessions in a row. And that will give you 605. And then uh, you will do 605 multiplied by 0 0.00086. And that's the number of Borg tokens you'll have airdropped. And I can't do that um, by mental maths, but I guess it will be around three cents, which is, uh, yeah, I'm ambitious. 1.3 CHSB, Borg, something like that. So anyway, that's how you get the maths going if you want to figure out exactly uh, how much you'll be getting. And um, you can do it yourselves with this number. And these are also updated and accurate. Um, now, before we move on, we're just going to talk a little bit about the two initiatives that have been uh, implemented in December. The first one is the um, Vault, and the second one is the Referral Boost. So we'll talk about the Vault because that hasn't been uh, integrated into the app yet. We'll announce tomorrow when it will be integrated into the app, but it will be of 20, 000, uh, 20 million Borg. That will be the total size of the Vault. So as long as people or guardians don't fill it up, it will be open to all of the guardians who allocated at least 10% to this option one of the two times it appeared in the sessions. We'll have two-month lockup and there's 0% APY. It's very important. 
It is not an APY, it's a participation gift. What we're doing is testing the waters to see if you would agree to lock your tokens for two months. Uh, and that will help the ecosystem also because we're locking some of the supply and you're also showing that you're active in the app. And for that reason, we'll be rewarding you with a gift um, that's, and the size of the gift is communicated in the articles that I've posted about the vault. And the eligibility is done. I've taken the snapshot. All of the IDs have been communicated. So all of that should be good to go. The second one is the referral boost. This is during the whole month of December. So it's actually active now. If you are premium and you refer a friend, they have to do one transaction and buy 77.7 uh, .7 Borg at one time during their um, user journey or during the month of December. And then in January, you'll get 100 Borg as an airdrop. So it's pretty easy. You just have to make sure that your friends that you refer onto the app pass KYC and do a one transaction of 77.7 .7 Borg. Um, and then you'll get the reward in January. This is because we would like to see uh, who has done the, who has, who's playing the game, who's a guardian, who's been referring, um, and who's been communicating with their friends that they have to buy 77.7 .7 Borg. It's not that easy. We're testing it out, but hopefully it will uh, pan out all right. Why only 77.7 .7 Borg? This is just so that you, you have one transaction to do. We don't want to force people into buying too much uh, or more than they can afford. Seven, 27.7 we estimated was reasonable um and if they want to buy more they can obviously buy more it's just that they need to do one transaction of that amount just so that we can track who is uh, organically referred and who is referred by a guardian this is how we're going to differentiate it danny i'll let you take the mic now <laughs> Nah, you got promoted, so I think you, you can do all the power <laughs> all the guiding <laughs> by yourself. <laughs> um, just before going on the slide, uh, I see some questions here from uh, Steve. At least 77.7 um, Borg or exactly 77.7? <clears throat> yeah, but just in case there's like slight discrepancies when I do the, the calculations and figure out who has uh, done that or not, I'll take a little bit more and a little bit less. I'll, for example, do 76 to 78 just so that I'm sure everyone uh, is getting it, um, is getting the reward. But they can buy 77.7 .7 and then they can buy 5 million. It doesn't matter. It's just that you need to do that one um, insulated 77.7 .7 transaction at one point in December. That's the only condition. You can buy as much as you want. All right, so back to the presentation. So next time, so get in nine. Um, you have here the link for the Slido if you want to submit your first choice. So as a reminder, the two last time, um, there was no vote because we had to vote for the Borg Vault for two months uh, in a row. So now we are back to the standard um, the standard one. So uh, first we'll vote, you can submit all um, in the Slido. So for those who already submitted something, uh, don't worry if you don't see anything in here because Slido can only be open for one week. And that's the second week that we're opening. So um, don't worry, we have still your proposition. We'll submit it to the community leaders afterwards. And if you missed uh, it, they, this is your chance to submit your idea. Um, we'll close it. I think you can go on the next slide to see. Uh, yeah, thanks. Um, so here, the type form opened on the 1st of December. Um, committee leaders will vote uh, next week on next Wednesday. Um, session open the Monday after, so the 18th of December. And 31st of December, we're not taking any answer. And then we'll give us a little bit of delay to do the snapshot result and everything because it's the end of the year. We want to make, uh, like, we want to take our time and also to make things really great. So we're taking two weeks instead of one, and then um, we let you enjoy your holiday and come back again with the presentation of next session, full recovered, hangover or not, and <laughs> full of food and yeah, happy to go. Yeah, full of food for sure. <laughs> Um, um, keep up with the Guardian, yeah. You can yeah, change. this is the article I'm currently uh, finishing up. I'll be posting the next steps for the Guardians as well as a little recap of the last article because it was very important just so that you can have an overview of everything that's happening and uh, you'll be able to get some more details on the good news. For the 
first quarter, so the next protect and choose that will be after the session nine, this will be an example of how it should go because as it's going to go into a quarterly mode, I'm just showing you uh, that we'll have more time between each um, step of the way for each session. So we'll have the whole month of January or at least two weeks to find the best idea. Then we'll have three weeks to um, vote basically. And then the following month, we'll be doing the town hall, the snapshot and the results. So you'll see that it's a very familiar concept, but it's it's much more chill in the sense that we have a lot more time between each step. And so that means that we have more time to think about the ideas that we want to submit. We have more time to um, decide when we want to fill in the type form. And we also have uh, more time to communicate the results, do the airdrop. And as we have fewer sessions, it will obviously be bigger amounts that we will be conducting every time. So instead of doing three times one CHSB or one Borg, for example, in the rewards, you'll be having one time three Borg instead. So hopefully it just helps uh, everyone here uh, better situate their time and be better invested into the whole program. Um, but we also have maybe something else that Danny wants to announce right now. Yeah, so um, we've been asked, uh, we've been receiving a lot of people who like uh, reaching out to support to get um, why they didn't get the email for the uh, for the garden vote and they missing out. So we wanted to address uh, that to all the people who missed it and also ease a bit the task on our support. So we've been uh, building a bit the garden page. So you have the QR code here to access the page. It's basically a page where you got access to all um, the results and information about all the garden votes. So maybe I can share my screen here to have like live stuff. Let me see if the demo effect is working. Da, 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 da. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, nice. So, nice. First time, first try. Nice. Um, so here you have the garden page. So you will be able to see um, the first choice submission, which is the link we've previously shared. Um, you can submit anything you want here directly from the page. No need to click on anything else. And when the garden vote is opening, you will be able to submit your vote directly also on the page. So here now it's not open because uh, it opened on the 18th of December, but you will be able to vote directly on that page. So bookmark the the, the link that uh, was shared before. I will, uh, maybe if you can share it, Benji, in the chat, that would mm -hmm. be easier. Um, yeah, we also have like information about the past guardians. So eight session, which is this one, like you can watch the live and watch the replay afterwards. I will be updating the result that we share just presented to you. But if you go through previous sessions, you will see all the results. What was the first choice? What was the the actual result of everything normally without any errors or mistakes on our end should be the final one and um, yeah if you want to to have any information or you didn't know what was the first shot at that point you can definitely just go there and uh, you will be able to see it so um yeah if we put it here yeah so here again the qr code if you want to, to bookmark uh, bookmark damn it sleeping no, but I think it's very well understood. And definitely, if you had a lot right here, you didn't understand everything that was on that web page, feel free to rewind a little bit and watch it slower so that you can uh, really get a, a grasp of what's happening here. But I think it's exactly, it's to replace um, the websites that we've been uh, using for now to do the garden session. We'll have a one hub, uh, one size fits all kind of solution uh, where you'll be able to have an overview of what, where we're going, what's happening, where to uh, vote, when to vote, and uh, all of that. So uh, we hope that you like it. Um, and yeah, if you definitely. don't, you can also yeah, you can also share your feedback with us. You know where to find us. We are on Discord. We are on uh, email, but that's less like uh, close enough interaction. So mm -hmm. maybe go in the comment of YouTube or come on Discord to see if you see anything information that you uh, that can be valuable to be. Uh, displayed on the garden page and that will be useful to you or maybe all the guardians but uh, yeah feel free to reach out we'll be happy to uh, to implement the solution if, if it's uh, pertinent enough yeah 
Um, and yeah, just uh, I see there's a very big discussion in the chat here about the the seventy seven point seven. I think I think I have to reiterate a little bit. Um, people do referrals on a monthly basis as a normal just referral, normal referral. And then we have guardians that are going to be doing referrals. And to be able to know who's a referral that came thanks to a guardian that's doing the guardians boost or just a normal one, we've put that condition in. It's not too much money and it's not too much to ask to say, hey, do a isolated transaction with that amount of Borg and then uh, I'll be able to get the rewards. Um, we expect that guardians will be referring people they know in real life. So if a friend tells me this, I wouldn't be too shocked. I'd be like, okay, it's part of a promotion. A little bit like when um, when Revolut said uh, spend three times $15. It's a little bit strange, but it can happen as well. Uh, it's just a criteria to figure out who's uh, organic and who is there to part, be part of the promotion. And so that's what we're doing here with that 77.7. Um, all right, then we've got some price predictions I don't think is necessarily relevant here. Um, I would be happy to get these questions in, for example, uh, Matisse, Matisse, if that's how you pronounce it, uh, in the comments, because that way I can put it in the power for uh, next week and we, ha we can have the CEO answer it. So that could be fun. Uh, if you have other questions that aren't related to the Guardians, feel free to put them in the comment section because I do read them. We will find answers to them. And when they're good ones, we'll get them in our next episodes, which feature our CEO so he can answer them with a lot more wealth of knowledge than we can right now. Um, so yeah, I think with that said, we've transmitted everything that we wanted to. Let's check. Uh, when PC wallets. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's not something that interns should be able to, to answer. <laughs> We're not but... gonna reveal this, but watch the keynote. Yeah. <laughs> watch the keynote. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone, for your attendance. Hope to see you next time. Don't forget to vote and have a great one if we don't see you before Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye. Maybe see you at the party. See ya.